Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Do subscribe, I've got plenty more videos here. Um, so today we're going to talk about emotions. The biggest thing I want to say is we are so gagged and suppressed, suppressed from feeling, gagged from talking um, because of the massive conditioning out there from the old mainstream world, but also the new age spiritual world that emotions are no good. They are low vibe. They are weak. Something only toddlers do. Um it's just something that you've got to regulate, you've got to get resilient on, you've got to find your way around these disorders of anxiety and depression, which all emotions, you know, stored within us. And this gagging and suppression is giving our children the next reason they're coming in the next generation to really reflect back. You got to look at your emotions that you got stored inside you, mum and dad and grandma and grandma, everyone. Um, so, with um like where do I go so the energy that's within us is still there our physical body is holding on to it wherever we are tight tense wherever we have shaped our face and now posture the where our legs bend where they're tight it's all where we've shoved emotion down the past is still there within you you know it when someone goes to tickle you it's emotion stuffed there when you get lactic acids and acid and when your legs burn out there's charge there when you've got pressure points where you know you feel it and you're just like oh my gosh that's where your shit's shoved when you attract physical illness wherever it is being attracted to sore throats gut trouble you know ankle injury that's where you've held your charge so it's all there within us our children are coming through to reflect it and more so than we ever did to our parents um, every generation is getting bigger and stronger on the shit that we've got to see until we finally actually see it um they're coming through with not only behavioral stuff, but really mental mental health stuff. I don't even want to be here on earth, mom. I would say the spiritual stuff. They are coming through with all sorts of developmental issues, leaning to, you know, parents go, shit, we better diagnose them as opposed to shit. The elephant under the rug is I got to look at how I feel, this stress that my children are bringing me. And as I do that, I start to see, holy bejesus, the energetic connection between me and my stress and when I let it up and how my children then start to unravel their own stuff. We're energetically connected more than anyone has ever seen. So what I've done today is I've written a list and I'm going to go through each little point around the presentation of our child and what, what that means emotionally, but also then how it might reflect back to us. So our children, you know, I'm a speech pathologist by old world, um, you know, speech issues. That's a big one. When children are going like this and I can't get the words out, lisp or anything, I have tension in my tongue or in my jaw. Um, 100% I have energy there that I haven't been able to let out. I've wanted to say shit and I haven't been able to and it's really caught up. Or I've been clocking anger and all these emotions that are shoved and sit there, or even sadness. I don't want to cry, so I've ended up with this face like this. Um, tongue tie, lip tie. It's basically just a physical um, way that someone's been set up to pull their energy in this in this area. Um, so anything here, and this includes adults, any tightness anywhere that you hold stuff in your mouth even when someone says something and you're going like this that's 100 percent. there's emotion sitting there um what why i left the speech pathology world is i saw we cannot change our children's speech that much if we don't start allowing this energy to flow and the exponential results when the mother starts to look at her own matching patterns within her face and what um how she grew up being seen and heard um so that's just one um, avoiding talking under stress for fear of emotions surfacing. So many children are like, I'm not going to talk either, you know, out and about when I'm shy and adults are asking me questions, trying to, you know, put me under the spotlight. But also when I'm in trouble, my Hayden, you know, wouldn't talk at school because he was so worried he was going to cry when they're like, why'd you do that crazy behavior? He was just, mm. again, there's emotions sitting there. I'm not talking because I'm worried this stuff's going to come out and I can sense energetically no one wants my emotions to be seen. Um, many things. So meltdowns, children having meltdowns, 100% reflecting, whereas the anger and the I want to crack it in my own self, my frustration, my just done with life within you. Um, the quiet shy types, on the contrary, the ones that are just um, clocked it and I've, I'm holding it in so far. I'm almost got such a brain fog. I don't even know what to say or what to do or how to be my own true essence. I've lost track within my, you know, of my own self. 
um, because I'm sitting there managing this stuff within me all the time. Um, sibling fights, same thing. Children fighting are reflecting how do you feel? Where is the energy with you? And how do you honestly feel about watching your children fighting? You should be feeling stuff. You know, it's not a thing that our soul comes in and goes, yeah, my children should be fighting. Um, you will be feeling feelings there. Um, anxious behaviors of any kind, like that's nail biting, um, moving all the time, anything like just feeling worried and flustery, asking a bazillion questions before you go someplace, not wanting to go to anywhere new. Um, that's 100%. I have emotions within me. And that can be for you as a parent as well. Really check in when your child is like that. Typically when I work with mums, there's energy within them as well. Like I don't like going to social events. I'm feeling worried about my child trying this new thing or, you know, going and doing something by themselves, whatever it is. Um, depression, snow globe, it's all, all the emotions have just gotten so heavy and dank as opposed to the anxiety. It's where your emotions are bubbling within you. The depression is, it's all sat down. Then look within yourself. Where do I feel a bit low, a bit flat, no zest for life? Um, like getting up every morning, like, yeah, I'm so keen to play this game of life and I've got some great things to do. Um, anything ASD type behaviors, I can't see things from your point of view. I am rigid. Um, I could go on. So you'll know, though, if you feel that there's any type of ASD typeness or even neurodivergence, I could talk all day. It's another topic. But those are the types of behaviors that reflect back. I'm holding on to emotions and therefore my communication, the heart energy, I can't communicate well. I'm not clear because I'm holding on to all this emotion here in my heart. Um, I don't want to go and connect with others because I've got all this emotion sitting within me and I can't think straight to make a conversation because I'm managing my own thoughts or you know anxiety and all of that within. Um, there are just so many things that reflects back. I can't come from my true essence, which is clear, it's communicative, it's social, it's able, um, because I'm managing what I call like an emotional brain fog. Um, and yeah, so I was going to say some more stuff, but that's within yourself as a mother too. Of course, you may not even have a diagnosis. You might not even have one for your child, but all, and I always talk about, you don't need a diagnosis. Look at all these different behaviors, go within. This is the stuff for us to work with, especially with the heart energy and feeling. And you will undo it all. You will unravel yourself. You don't have to have a label and then stick with that. Um, that's if you want to change and you want to move through these things that are challenging in life, you know, is particularly around connecting with others and communication, um, but also about choosing to be here on earth. That's the earthy stuff. Um, heart is connecting and communicating with others. And then the starry stuff as well. Um, I won't even go there right now, um, but I always see things star, heart and earth. Um, children not wanting to be here, like saying, I want to die. You know, what if I wasn't here tomorrow? Um, just not wanting to get out of bed, happy to sit and distract all of that stuff. 100% is I am sitting with a lot of emotion here and I can't get started on feeling my shit until you do mum and or dad. Now that's a hard bit because you might go, well, my husband or partner is certainly not going to start crying or letting their emotions up anytime soon. But that's the point is then to bring it back to yourself how do you feel about your child and where they're at? And this is what I teach in the new way is basically you are player one, you are it. So you're going to have an emotional reaction to what's going on with the actors around you, whether you like it or not. How do you feel about your child saying, I want to kill myself, I want to be dead? How do you feel about your child not being able to really get up and do anything happily and really not wanting to be here? You as a mother, if you connect right in, of course, you're going to have emotions to that. And it is powerful to be able to work through it. Um, so that's just some of the things that I see that your children are manifesting if you won't look at yourself and look at the, your own emotions. If you're trying to tuck it under the rug and get on with, I'm, you know, you know, choosing my thoughts positively, I'm justifying everything that's great you know in my life I'm really grateful for it and you're trying to bring too much light your children energetically are going to go well I'm going to reflect the darkness the family bubble is always going to hold the um the balance so it's basically like even it out everything is light and dark here whether you like it or not whether you choose to see that or not you're going to get forced to feel your feelings 
And if you're really good at judging your emotions, you can tuck it all away, but your physical body will be a point of truth where there is pain, where there is tightness and rigidity. Uh, I will not feel, I will not feel I'm going to hold it all in. Um, it can be mouth, it can be anything, but guaranteed your children are going to be reflecting those patterns back to you. So if you're holding it in all tightly here, well, then yes, your children are going to have speech issues and they're going to shine it even you know brighter. If you're holding it all within in your tummy and you've, your children have got digestion issues, well, yes, they're reflecting, hey, you've got it all in here, or if you've got a bit of weight at your tummy. Um, if you're holding it all in your, in, you know, in your pelvis and your hips, your children might have interesting coordination issues. There's just so many reflections with our children and I would have to go through it individually with you. Um, I do have space for one-on-one -on -one mentorships. If this is calling you to go, heck, I need to unlock this because there are not many people out there prepared to look at this. There's so many other, you know, the old world allied health therapy and whatnot to let's work around it and let's walk around the elephant in the room some are teaching, you know, beautiful strategies for the mum to help the child with their emotions, but they haven't seen the energetic connection that it's you. You are it. You have to look at yourself and you have to deal with your own inner hurts for the sake of your inner peace, for the sake of showing your children. My self-care is that I honour myself. I honour my emotions. I am going through a human experience here. I am then writing a book on as you start to feel into these emotions that are divinely rising in divine timing with your soul agreement, it's beautiful. One day I wake up and I'm feeling a bit irritated. Yes, because on your timeline, you were going to run into someone and have a bump so that you could express this stuff. The more you play your game of life self-responsibly, the more you start to go, heck, I've woken up. I'm not feeling good. I'm going to feel through this. So then I don't attract that actor in my life coming in to bump me instead. Um, so that's where we start to go into how can you connect back in with your emotional body and your physical body. Many people, especially the ones that are love and light or, you know, thoughts create reality, just choose a better thought are up in the spiritual and the mental body and the energetic side of things, but they have not come down into the emotional body, which is still energetics and the physical body where the emotions have rooted in and physicalized. That is the root of the weed. So um, if you see the gratitude for what's going on for you, you're plucking the flower off your weed, but you haven't seen then, oh, it's all connected back into my physical body and heck, I've got to feel the emotional body. Why? Because that brings you into your heart truly rather than trying to figure out your way into your heart. Many people are trying to be from their heart and doing all sorts of behaviors saying, oh, this would be from my heart and this would be from my heart, but they're not in their heart. They haven't embodied it. They truly haven't gone there and found compassion. Um, this may sound a little bit confusing if you're like, hang on, what? But if it rings bells or it starts to resonate, well, then keep on watching my videos on this YouTube channel. Do pay attention to my courses that come out. Um, it's on my website, HeidiHosking.com. I'm writing a book. I have got my donation link down below if you would like to donate even a coffee to me. The coffee money is actually going to go to editing my book. Um, it's quite a cost and I'm writing first book and I already have book two and three halfway done as well. So I've got a lot of costs coming to get more of this information out where I've actually taken the time to spell it out bit by bit by bit, because there's so much, as you can see, going the new way for us to relearn, flip and really look at it from a revolutionary point of view rather than the old way and even the new age world that has wanted to keep on, not wanted, accidentally um the, the authorities knew what they were doing ages ago when they were suppressing us and really no don't go there near the um emotions but it's continued on that um that message of emotions are weak and a low vibe and are not the thing to even look at it's actually the opposite so i cannot say that enough and i'm talking for our children here because they are going through grief in their physical mental emotional spiritual developmental selves reflecting this back saying mom and dad when are you going to look at your inner stress and when are you going to actually own and be humble that you're here on earth and you have been clocking a lot of stuff and when will you have the heart for yourself to actually feel it too and then feel it with me once you start feeling for yourself of course and you go holy moly the stuff that you've been feeling and the stuff you haven't been able to speak up about 
because that whole thing has been tucked under the rug. It needs to be the opposite. Let's get rid of suppression. Let's get rid of gagging and let everyone heart and throat feel and speak. Um, so do remember to subscribe, share this to anyone um, that you feel, please get this message out there. I really do need help in getting the message out there because I am one person and it is a slow going movement that I'm creating. Um, but yeah, if you feel strongly too, if you feel strongly, then um, get it out there as well. See you all soon and I'll create some more videos soon. Bye.